It's Monday, 6th August, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. A few Supreme Court judges intend to meet Chief Justice of India Deepak Mishra today to express dissatisfaction over the government altering Justice K.M. Joseph's seniority, making him junior to Justices Indra Banerjee and Vineet Saran in the Apex Court. According to highly placed sources in the Supreme Court, the judges are upset and agitated by the way the government seemed to have overlooked the fact that the Collegium had separately reiterated Justice Joseph's name to the government on July 16th before recommending Justices Banerjee and Saran. The names of the latter two judges were recommended as a separate batch on the same day. President Ramnath Govin made a visit to Chennai on Sunday afternoon to inquire about the health of ailing DMK President and former Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M. Karunanidhi at the Kaveri Hospital in Alwar Pet here. Governor Banwarilal Purohit accompanied the President to the hospital where they were received by M. Karunanidhi's son and DMK Working President M. K. Stalin and daughter and Rajya Sabha MP Kani Mori. The visit lasted about 15 minutes. After coming out of the hospital, the President, in a rare gesture, got down from his vehicle to wave at the crowd that had gathered in front of the hospital. Governor Purohit and Minister D. Jayakumar were also present. Four Indian school students have won two gold and silver medals each in the recently concluded 50th International Chemistry Olympiad held in Bratislava in Slovakia and Prague in the Czech Republic. De Sankalp Gandhi from Vadodara and Jishnu Basavaraju from Hyderabad won gold medals while Sanchit Agarwal from Delhi and Ayush Kadam from Nimuch, Madhya Pradesh won silver medals. It was India's 20th year of participation in the competition, which comprises theoretical and experimental examinations. So far, there have been 80 medal winners from India. Students are screened for the competition after three stages of selection. In the first stage, at least 56,000 students gave a written exam in the subject. Selection in the next two stages was carried out by the Homi Baba Center for Science Education, which is also the nodal center for science olympiads. Computer scientists and a student team from IIT Madras have developed the first of a family of six industry standard microprocessors. The initial batch of 300 chips named Rice Creek produced under Project Shakti have been fabricated for free at Intel's facility at Oregon, US to run the Linux operating system. The IIT team says that its microprocessors can be adapted by others as the design is open source. They optimize power use and compete with international units such as the Cortex-A5 from Advanced Risk Machines or ARM. The team, led by Dr. Neil Gala, an alumnus of IIT Madras, is thrilled not just because it developed a viable industry-grade chip, but also because the process can be tapped for future efforts in semiconductors. The Shakti plan started in 2014 as an IITM initiative. Last year, the Union Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology funded part of the project, says Dr. Kamakoti. A powerful earthquake struck the Indonesian tourist island of Lombok on Sunday, killing at least 82 people and shaking neighboring Bali, one week after another quake on Lombok killed more than a dozen. The latest quake damaged buildings as far away as Denpasar in Bali, including a department store and the airport terminus, where ceiling panels were shaken loose, authorities said. The quake, recorded at magnitude 7.0 by the US Geological Survey, struck early Sunday evening at a depth of 10.5 kilometers in the northern part of Lombok. The island was already recovering from a magnitude 6.4 quake on July 29th, which killed 16 people. Indonesia is prone to earthquakes because of its location on the Pacific Ring of Fire, an arc of volcanoes and fault lines in the Pacific Basin. 
In December 2004, a massive magnitude 9.1 earthquake of Sumatra Island triggered a tsunami that killed 230,000 people in a dozen countries. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from key metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 76.54 rupees per litre and diesel for 68.06 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 79.51 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.87 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 79.46 rupees per litre and diesel for 70.84 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 83.98 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.25 rupees per litre.